So in this video, I'm going to go over two lessons. So I'm going to go over lesson 104, which we did in class, um, and lesson 105, which we did not get to in class. Lesson 104 is solving an equation for a specific variable. So since we did this one um, in class, I'm going to do a different one. For example, <clears throat> your problem will look something like this. Find B in the equation A over B plus C over D equals X. There's a couple of steps that will make this easier. When it says to find B, we're looking for to rearrange this equation so that we have B equals and then everything else. All the other variables will be on this side of the equation. So A, C, D, and X will be on this side of the equation and only B will be here. And there's a couple of steps that makes this easier. The first thing is we want to get rid of these fractions. It's easier to work with. So like we did in problems with numbers, to get rid of these fractions, we need to multiply each side of the equation by the least common multiple of B and D. And the least common multiple of B and D is just B and D multiplied by each other. So we're going to multiply each side by B times D in order to get rid of the fraction. So don't forget to multiply this side by B and D as well. So when we do that, the B's cross off and we're left with just D, A. And then when we do the distributive property, we need to multiply B, D also times this fraction. And in this fraction, the D's would cross off, which would leave us with just B, C. I want to make sure you can see that. When you do the distributive property first, you would do B, D times A over B, which the B's cross off, leaving you with just D, A. And then we need to do B, D times C over D, which looks like this. And in this fraction, the D's cross off, which leave us with just BC. So that's how we get there. And then we already multiplied this side by BD, so it stays like this. So that's the first step. First step is to get rid of the fraction. The second step is to look at your equation. You need to get all of the B's on one side of the equation. So in this, in this equation right here, this is step two. There is a B on this side and a B on this side. So we're going to, the easiest way to get them both on one side would be to subtract BC from each side. So that's what we're going to do. So that leaves us DA on this side and X equals BD minus BC. So there, there you have it. Now all the B's are on this side, but we need to have B just by itself. So the third step then would be to leave this side alone, DA, and then on this side, factor out the B in each of these terms. And that means that we're doing the opposite of the distributive property. So if we divide XBD by B, we are left with just XD. We're going to put B on the outside of our parentheses. Now we need to remember to watch the sign. And now we're going to factor out this B out of BC. That leaves us with just C. So this becomes this. And you can see by the distributive property, if you multiply them, that those two are equal. Now the last step then is the way we're going to get B all by itself. Since B is being multiplied by this term, we can just divide each of the sides by XD minus C. And we'll divide DA by XC, I'm sorry, XD minus C. And then those will cross off which would leave us with B all by itself on this side. I'm going to rewrite it over here so you can see it better. So that leaves us B alone on this side equals DA all over XD minus C. So that is how you rearrange the equation in order to get B by itself if it asks you to find B. It could ask you to find any of these letters and you would follow these same steps. First step, uh, get rid of the fractions. The second step, get all of the variables that you are looking for all on one side of the equation. And then the third step, factor it out. The fourth step would be divide each side by whatever is the, B is being multiplied. And that gives you that. So that's lesson 104. We're going to go on to lesson 105, which 
also is looking at factoring, factoring things out. This one is factoring by grouping. So you'll see a problem that looks like this. It'll say factor. That just means to divide out. Like I said before, it's like doing the opposite of the distributive property. So if we have xya minus 4a, really important to watch the signs as usual, plus xyb minus 4b, and it asks us to factor it. All of their, their factor it by grouping. Um, we're not, we don't need to solve anything. There is no equal sign. What we do, all we need to do is to look at these. We're going to come up with some groups and factor it out. So we'll start with these first two terms. We can see in these first two terms, they has A in common. So just looking at this part, we're going to factor out A, the opposite of the distributive property. We'll put A here. When you divide x, y, a by a, you're left with just x, y. Careful to watch the signs. We're going to divide a out of 4a, and that leaves us with just 4. So there, that's our first part. We factored the a out. And now we're going to remember to put our plus sign. And now these two, we're going to look at these last two terms. The term that they have in common is b. So we're going to factor out a b xyb divided by b is xy, and we're going to carry it down our minus sign. 4b divided by b is just 4. Now if you notice, we have an xy minus 4 here, and an xy minus 4 here. So what that tells us is that we can um, rewrite this so that we have two terms being multiplied by each other. So if we have a times xy minus 4 plus b times xy minus 4, we can rewrite that as a plus b times xy minus 4. And now it is written, this phrase right here, this um, polynomial right here, is rewritten, it's factored, it's rewritten to have two terms being multiplied together. So this is our answer, x plus a times y minus 4. And I'm going to do one more for you so that you have it. ac plus 2ad plus 2bc plus 4bd. And they're asking you to factor this, to rewrite this polynomial with two factors, two things being multiplied by each other. We'll look at these first two only. And we see in this first two, it has A in common. We'll factor out the A. AC divided by A leaves us just C. Carry down the plus sign. 2AD divided by A leaves us with 2D. Now we're going to add. We'll look at both of these. Looking at both of these, we see that what they have in common is 2B. We have to make sure we take out everything that they have in common. The 2 can be factored and the B can be factored. So we'll take out 2B. 2BC divided by 2B leaves us with C. 4BD divided by 2B leaves us with 4 divided by 2 equals 2. And the B divided by B goes away and we're left with D. Now we see our matching terms. C plus 2D. So we go ahead and say that a times c plus 2d plus 2b times c plus 2d equals a plus 2b in parentheses, remember the parentheses, multiplied by c plus 2d. So this is your answer. When you factor this polynomial, you get these two terms multiplied by each other.